Sterling is a unique and special place. Not only is it in Calistoga here in Napa Valley, making special wines with a lot of tradition stretching back more than 40 years, but it's also a tremendous icon. The architecture is unbelievable. The idea of having it built to resemble a monastery from a Greek island is amazing. Sterling is an awesome place to make wine. We have over 1,100 acres of estate vineyards. For me, it's a great chance to be able to see the entire valley, all of the different microclimates, the tremendous variety and diversity of soil types. It's like a winemaker's playground. To me, what's so interesting about Sterling Vineyards is that it's such a highly visible, iconic winery, both literally here in the valley, perched on a very dramatic hillside, uh, but also out in the marketplace and with consumers as well. It's a well-known, trusted Napa Valley brand. We've played a balancing act between staying true to our classic roots, being very Bordeaux-inspired and achieving a very elegant style, while also adapting to the preferences of today's consumers. So while Sterling is a very established, respected brand, it's never been one that's afraid to make big bets and to innovate. This started back in the 60s with California's first vintage-dated Merlot and also innovated in terms of a lot of single vineyard bottlings in the early days that we continue with. Back in the day, everybody was really happy just to have red wine and it didn't have to have any particular stylistic signature. Today's modern consumer wants black fruit, dark colors, and really wants a wine with personality and some balance to it. Sterling Vineyards was founded in the mid-1960s by a British gentleman named Peter Newton. Peter was a reporter for the Financial Times, he was an executive for a paper and press company, and he was also a real visionary when it came to winemaking. He was one of the first ones, along with Robert Mondavi in the 1960s, to really see the potential of Napa Valley as a wine-growing region. Calistoga is really an integral part of Sterling Vineyards. This is where Sterling was born. Peter Newton was really attracted to the amazing Merlot and Cabernet that grows right around this site. He knew what he was doing, he trusted his gut instinct, and he was spot on about the quality of the fruit that comes from Calistoga. So Sterling is a trusted brand because it's been making really top-notch wines since the late 60s. Got off to a great start with Rick Foreman as the winemaker, creating some fantastic reserve wines, and really has a proven track record of success that's uh, dating on four or five decades now. With the 2011 vintage, we welcomed veteran winemaker Harry Hansen as our senior winemaker, who has really led a lot of quality improvements and a lot of changes on the Sterling Napa and Reserve tier. Harry cares very deeply about the quality here and really making Sterling achieve its aims and achieve its quality goals. And Harry, he leads by example and he leads with a quiet intensity uh, that people really notice. What people don't know about Sterling is there are three of us here making wine. That's it, that's the whole winemaking team and we have a dozen guys who do cellar work. The winemaking team includes myself, Allison Crary, associate winemaker, who I work alongside of making red wines, and John Hazak, whom I work alongside of making our white wines. Working with Sam Burton, who's uh, our vineyard manager here, works with you know all of our tremendous fruit that comes off of Diamond Mountain, Peterson Ranch, out of Oak Knoll Vineyard, to Manny Vineyard, you know, some of our great vineyard properties. He also brings an incredible level of experience. He's seen a lot of vineyards, not just here in California, but also in his native Australia. And he just brings with him that innate knowledge of the land and the soil that has really helped us get moving on some great new developments in our vineyards. An exciting addition to our winemaking team here at Sterling is our brand new winemaking consultant, Paul Hobbs. He's been working with us for the last year has brought an incredible depth of knowledge and a passion for winemaking to our team. We are so excited to have him. Here at Sterling Vineyards, we source fruit right across the Napa Valley from a diverse range of climatic regions, all the way from Carneros, just down near the bay in San Francisco, right up here north of Calistoga to Peterson Ranch. We really do have some of the unique parts of Napa Valley terroir in our portfolio of vineyards. You know, Diamond Mountain's a great example of, of that. You know, you come up here and you're just blown away by the site, the aspect. We're about 15, 1600 feet above the valley and it's mainly Cabernet Sauvignon here on this vineyard that goes into some of um, Sterling's single vineyard wines as well as blended into some of their Napa, Napa Valley wines. 
The Cabernet Sauvignon off these ranches is really deep, concentrated, dark fruit and has like these big, big tannins and I think that's what um, really is, you know, Diamond Mountain. We've just embarked on a really exciting thing and we've just started replanting our vineyards in the last couple of years and it's really exciting because it allows us to put new rootstocks in and really get some exciting plant material into the vineyards. The replanting project really is to help us um, really bring out the best quality from the specific sites and the terroirs that we have here at Stirling. Absolute love for what we do. I mean, love being in the vineyards, love working with winemakers. I mean, and just to see that um, product at the end and you were a part of that, it's pretty special. Well, being a winemaker in the Napa Valley is like being a winemaker anywhere else, except that the fruit's better. <laughs> Quality at Sterling means making every wine the best it can be. Every load of grapes that's delivered, every wine we make, John, Allison, and myself, we touch each of these every day. During harvest here at Sterling, you know, we are incredibly selective with the grapes that we bring in here. We work totally in tandem with our vineyard managers to make sure that our grapes are absolutely perfect when they come in. We pay extremely close attention, not only during fermentation to all of our you know, analytical side of things, but we're tasting the tanks a couple times a day to make sure that we know that everything's going exactly the way it should during fermentation and that we're achieving that rich, round, and velvety style that's such a key uh, part of Sterling Vineyard's red wine's personality. For the white grapes here at Sterling, what I really want to achieve is as much whole cluster pressing as I can to really preserve the fruit character and control mouthfeel and texture, but also a lot of barrel fermentation for the Chardonnay, which creates weight, mouthfeel, the lees stirring really adds dimension to the wine. As for the Sauvignon Blanc and other aromatic whites, really looking for preservation of the fruit. One of the newest innovations here at Sterling in the last few years has been our use of a reserve winery. The Reserve Winery makes a tremendous difference in the quality of the wines that we can produce. Sterling is very well equipped uh, in addition to having great people and a great team that are very dedicated to make high quality wine. They also have the facilities to do it, so it pretty much has it all. It's a winemaker's dream come true in a sense. So Sterling is renowned for delivering great quality at a variety of different price points. In the $10 to $15 range, we have our Sterling Vintners Collection wines, which are all Central Coast appellated. Uh, on that, we have 11 different varietals, so we deliver great varietal wines across a really broad range of styles there. And then we have really our classic tier, our Napa Valley wines. We have five wines there, and we've been making those quite literally for decades. Finally, we have our flagship wine, Sterling Vineyards Platinum, which is a Cabernet-based Bordeaux blend. Platinum is a new wine, it's our flagship wine. It's made from the very best lots of Cabernet Sauvignon that we have all over Napa Valley. So Diamond Mountain, Rutherford, Yonville. It's about Napa Valley Cabernet Sauvignon at its finest. I think what really warrants a second look for people who are familiar with Sterling and have known the brand for a while is to really just taste our Napa Valley wines, taste that Napa tier, and especially the, the Cabernet and Merlot have made such step changes in quality over the past several vintages, and while they still have a great classic style, they're now a lot more inviting up front and are ready to drink right away. Just to see the progression and evolution towards a very modern, high quality style of winemaking has been very exciting following Platinum through from the formation of our reserve winery until release has been amazing. Just overall the quality improvements that we've made and I think Sterling is going to be a force to be reckoned with. The most exciting part of my job is when I get to pull the cork out of a great wine that we just bottled and know that we hit it right out of the park. I kind of have to pinch myself a lot of times when I come up here. It's so beautiful and, and so dramatic. Even though we come here pretty regularly and we, we do our jobs here and we have meetings here, I try to always appreciate that beauty and that uniqueness. I think the thing to remember about Sterling is that it's beautiful wines in a beautiful place. It doesn't get any better than that.